Okay, so I just want to give you a tour of what I'm doing. This is fresh spinach. I bought it from the supermarket. I usually get it from the Amish, but I'm noticing that all the Amish do, uh, for the most part, is besides sell their stuff at times, they also sell the stuff of local farmers. So they're not giving us any, a whole lot of stuff that's different. Although I must say this, their celery, this over here is local from the supermarket. Theirs is far more abundant, far cheaper, or more, or more affordable rather. And um, I also use the leaves to saute. It really leaves a very good taste. And they have something that looks just like the leaves in the family uh, that you used to saute. And really, really gives uh, the food a good flavor. I guess that's why celery seeds are pretty popular. Uh, the celery family can be tasty. I used to be allergic to this. It used to get me gassy. Um, so the leaves do me really good. But now I outgrew. Uh, I don't repeat this anymore. And uh, this is more like commercialized. Uh, but I use it for juicing. I use uh, ginger, um, carrots, and uh, here's a piece of ginger. So th these are the pieces I'm going to use. There's apple, pineapple um beets uh this over here is what you saw over there which is um the spinach and i did say kale and so let's take a look at over here how i have a few things uh if i could show it to you let's see so just so you could get to know me a little bit here's my little market stuff okay so what i'm doing is i created a uh dressing a salad dressing out of a whole bunch that's missing over here okay so as you can see this there's a lot of stuff missing here I had a lot of basil and I made basil with with uh, parsley and I'm not sure what this is to be honest with you picked it up <laughs> at the supermarket uh, the, the Amish market and so I put it in the blender with um, half water half vinegar and then I also poured olive oil uh, so it's olive oil and, and vinegar mixed and I heated up the vinegar and water to cure the leaves and then I'm going to um, I'm going to to um, tighten this up okay I'm gonna tighten the lid up <clears throat> well I'm not gonna try to take it out now it's a little too much so just so you know well I'm gonna let you know about my yogurt in a little bit okay so i'm going to start with the juicing machine be right back okay so i'm going to start juicing now it's not my first juicing film but again i lost a lot of my film so i'm redoing a lot of stuff and i decided to start sharing it with youtube i used to do this for a friend just to share things with him right uh who doesn't live nearby okay so here we go here we go. It's going to go fast, all right? It goes really fast. It's going to be noisy. Watch out.
Well, I got stuff that have, have contained water. It helps the tail get through. So now, this is getting full. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink a little bit of it because uh, I want to continue the process. So I want to just take a, a little taste, drink it down to about here to make more room for what's left. And there we go. Okay. So now I'm removing the, the cap. I don't really use this much. Okay. I don't use this much. Most of the vegetables push themselves in. And of course, with my, with my assistance. So I, I use the hard vegetables to find their way in 98% of the time. Okay. So apple. Apple. So let's turn the baby on. We're leaving the plunger just for a minute here. Sometimes I have to do that. Tail. Spinach. show you a little trick the little trick is not that big of a trick but I'm gonna get a little bit of water am I filming yes I am okay <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little bit of water and I'm going to pour it <clears throat> in here. You see how this stuff's still coming out? I'm pouring some water in the hole so it could bring, kind of wash it out a little bit. There wasn't a whole lot of thickness in there. You always lose a little juice. Always lose a little bit. You see what happened? So I lost, you know, a fair amount of juice there. Uh, so this is my juicing process. I, you got to drink it down fast. Take it on a fast. So before you eat anything in the morning, you take this, drink it down fast, wait 40 minutes before you take anything else. I'm going to tell you what my second step in the morning is on the next video.